Good morning, and welcome to this week's edition of Good Policies on Kix 105.5. My name is Mike Barrett from Barrett Insurance Agency. This morning, our topic is very fresh. It's fresh in everybody's mind, and that is flood. Last week, an inundation of water in certain parts of Vermont, and again this past week, have certainly brought this to be a very top-of-mind uh, conversation for many people. So the rain that came through an inundation of water, the big question is, are you covered? Sadly, the truth is, if you don't have a specific policy that is a flood insurance policy, the answer to that question really would be no. Flood insurance is required to cover the peril of loss known as flood, which is an inundation of water. It could be an overflow of inland or tidal waters. It can be unusual and rapid accumulation or runoff of surface waters from many sources, mud flow, things of that nature. So how do you get flood insurance? Well, most people sadly get it when they have to. It's when they're getting a mortgage on a property or refinancing a property that's in a flood zone. And by the requirement of the lender, they're getting flood insurance. Otherwise, what we find typically in our business is a lot of people go without because they're not required to. One of the rules of thumb that I go by is never get insurance because somebody tells you you have to. Get it because it's going to protect you if you need it. So flood insurance, there's a couple of types. There is the National Flood Insurance Program, which is administered through FEMA. You have to be in a participating town with FEMA to be eligible for the flood insurance program. A couple of examples locally would be towns like St. Johnsbury, uh, Lindenville, Littleton, New Hampshire. Uh, those are some of the big towns. There's others as well. There's also a number of towns in the area that do not participate or are not active with FEMA and are not eligible to get flood insurance through the National Flood Insurance Program. So what do you do at that time? There are private flood insurance carriers who can step in and be available, and you can certainly apply for it. Depending on the zone you're in, you could be in what we call a special flood hazard area, which could mean you're a high risk for flood, and you certainly would want to get flood insurance. Or maybe you're in a preferred area, like a zone X, for instance, somebody who's high up in Lindenville or Waterford or other communities that are involved with the flood program, you could still be eligible for flood because, again, one of the things that can cause a flood is unusual and rapid accumulation and runoff of surface waters. That could very well be happening to you. In fact, that's what's happened to many people. So flood insurance, what does it cover? It's going to cover loss to your property, your dwelling, your house, or your commercial building if you have it for a commercial flood insurance program policy. So it's going to cover loss due to the specific peril of flood to your dwelling or your building, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if you have contents coverage, you can get coverage for it there as well. Driveways being washed out, uh, sinkholes in your yard due to heavy rains, unfortunately, they're not going to be covered. So it's a, a bit of a slippery slope, but again, flood insurance is very specific. You do not have coverage for that on a regular homeowner or commercial policy, so be very much aware of that and call your agent if you have any questions. For more information, visit our website. We're online at thebarrettagency.com. You can also find us on Google, Facebook, and YouTube. Just look for Barrett Insurance Agency. That's good policies this week. Have a great day.